Okay, so I'm back at the land. Yeah, let me just clean that lens. Yeah, so I've done quite a bit of steel work on the sea. They're getting it in now. Putting it between the reinforced poles. I'm guessing they're going to go all the way around. I really am. I keep saying it, but I'm impressed at how much and surprised, to be honest, how much steel and concrete has gone in here. But now I do know where most of the cost for everything is for, and it's in the steel and the concrete so yeah so you can see making good progress i mean that that's all been put up there in two days i mean this here is as you know this is this is an outside veranda with the balcony this is the bedroom downstairs bathroom uh walk-in wardrobe ensuite obviously then the living room that you can see through there then obviously the kitchen then there's another bedroom which will be PK's we're actually gonna be downstairs there's bedrooms upstairs but that's gonna be a big living space upstairs as well so I keep saying it but the house is um, I'm trying to realize now how big this is gonna be um, yeah it's gonna be really big so yeah, I think it's 3,800 square feet, I think, something like that. I think that's about right. Don't quote me on that, I need to check the plans again, but yeah, I think I think that's round about right for the house. And then the uh, the garage is over a 1,000, nearly 1,200 square feet. Garage, workshop, whatever you want to call it, which is going to go here. So... Yeah, there's the trusty rebar bending machine. So yeah, so you can see it's a lot of uh, progress in a short time. The uh, probably like that just jumping down off that mound. <clears throat> but yeah, the pool looks good. Bit of water in there. So probably an inch of water. But, um, good progress has been made. You can see the amount of. Obviously going to cut some up again now. You see how much steel there is. And this is heavy duty rebar. This isn't small stuff. So, see the workers up there, the two ladies. Always busy, never stop. There's actually, I've shown you that before. There's a picture of what the house will look like. You can't see the workshop on there but that's the house but yeah if you see the ladies are working away up there they seem to do more work than the men <laughs> but yeah they're very efficient again there's not many of them here today. there's probably I only count one two three four five six seven of them eight eight in total with the supervisor but yeah they're uh, but there's not many workers here like I say I've come some days it's been 18 20 so but yeah good progress so here's the pool all the pipe works in and the pump house is gonna go inside the workshop at the back there's gonna be two or well, three there's gonna be two offices and then a pump house room and a solar power where the inverters are gonna go and everything for the solar power on the roof Um. So I don't know whether I've said before, but the house is going to be with power and water. There will be a, a well, well there's currently a well there now, but we're going to, which is over in that corner in the land. And then, uh, so we'll have our own water, we'll have our own power. We do have power from, from, and we do have water from the government, but we will use very little of it. Um, I always wanted this property to be self self-sufficient for all utilities, power and water so and we'll also have i will also have a uh, battery backup on the solar power so yeah because we are we are out of the sticks i mean as you can see over there there is power lines there is power that run down this road 
but there's also a lot of trees so with that comes a lot of unreliable power due to branches coming but else and when that happens out here it, it, fixing it doesn't happen very quickly so yeah so <clears throat> I need to make sure that we're always going to have power I mean we are it is out in the uh, country here so you do you do need your utilities available for various reasons so yeah a bit cloudy today as you can see but it's not as hot it's, it's getting humid I think which is again is early for this time of year to be this humid but temperature wise it's quite pleasant today it's about 29 30 degrees so yeah so good progress This will all be uh, backfilled, obviously, and then there's going to be a wall 2.8 metres high across this front, and then two garage doors. Obviously, there'll be one 5 metre wide door going on that workshop building, and there's a 4 metre door going in there. That is actually room for two car parking, but the truck won't be parking in there. It, it will always be in the workshop so yeah, we can't really park on the road out here I mean there's a C grey gate so parking the road is not really an option but yeah we will uh, be right up to the edge of this road I think it was 60 centimetres in 60 centimetres in and then the wall will be up here so yeah yeah okay that's today's update like, subscribe, and hit that notification button. There's a lot more videos to follow. So, see you in the next one.